Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Here's another mechanic of this game. It's a uh, enemy encounter out on the field. When you encounter one of these, a little mini game will start, of which these enemies are gonna protect these toad ball things. I don't know what the heck they call them, but collect all the balls, all the enemies will disappear. You can also kill the enemies if you want to, and then just walk up to the chest to open it. Toad will give you three mushrooms. Toad always gives you three regular mushrooms, which are actually kind of useless in this game. You'd be more, I mean, I should say for a hundred percent, you'd be better off uh, with other power-ups, just saying, because, you know, especially propeller mushroom power-ups, because you can fly to uh, star coins and stuff like that, or even secret exits at times, but usually you can find the power-up that you need in the level that, uh, has whatever secrets or whatever you need you need to find for 100%. What the, what the heck? Oh, there we go. <laughs> and, woo, pair right off the bat. Oh, no, 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 no. Is there gonna be a... I was gonna say, is there gonna be a Bowser head over there? That would be kind of suckish. Wait, is this in the same pattern as it was before? It sure seems like it's in the same pattern as it was before. I think it is in the same pattern as it was before. Hmm. I might be able, might be able to cheat the system later, then. Hmm. I don't know, I didn't really pay much attention to that. But anyway, what? I got the uh, power-up, or... Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't really matter at this point in the game, let's just say that. Um, there's a split path here. Uh, you, can, you, you can go around in circles, yay! No, that's not the split path. Up here is 1-5, and down here is... 1-6. Needless to say, I'm going to do 1-5 first, for the sake of organization. So, let's get it started. Woo! And it's going to be a platforming segment. These are spinning mushroom block thingies here. This, this kind of like furthers people's suspicions that Miyamoto was on crack when he made this game. <laughs> I mean, these level designs are sometimes very, very funky to the point you wonder if they did drugs when they made them. Anyway, there's a secret vine underneath this block here. You can slide under them by running and pressing down to get in there when you're big Mario. Uh, just get into there to get the star coin. Oh, you'll notice why I went up through the top. That's because there's a little barricade of invisible coins there. I should have showed that off first to make more sense of that, but uh, now you know, so now it makes sense. These uh, blocks that turn, that turn, these mushroom blocks, they're very grippy. You don't slide off them very easily if you run towards them, so don't worry about just jumping at them. Even when they're at like a 40 degree angle, you're not going to fall off them easily. Oh, I could use that Koopa shell for this coin. There we go. <laughs> it worked out anyway. Whenever you see a screw, you can keep shaking the Wii Remote to uh, unscrew or screw in that screw, and uh, you'll see some effect happen. In this case, it's these screw mushrooms. Again, on crack, <laughs> and you can push them in and they'll pop back out on their own. You get the idea. Um, I could actually use uh, a propeller mushroom power-up. That'll make getting the next coin a lot easier. The next star coin a lot easier. Is there one in here? Uh, I'd like to get... Let's see if there's... Nah... I didn't think so. Uh, whenever you see these outlines of coins, if you touch the outline, they'll turn into a coin. Uh, it's kind of silly in a way that the coin isn't just there, but I guess it's a mechanic. Like, if you jump or if you spring up towards them and then fall down on top of them, the coins will be there and waiting for you to collect them. I guess that's the trick to that mechanic or something like that. If I had a propeller mushroom, I could demonstrate that a little bit better, but whatever. Um, for this one, I don't really have my propeller, so I'm gonna have to use ye old Koopa. There we go. And that should be... Should be near the end of the stage here. I was getting past the... The side of the block was getting past the 45 degree angle, which means I would have fell off into the abyss. But anyway, that stage is clear. Yay! Happy days are here! And I'm just gonna go over to 1-6. I could just go right over to the castle, as I said, this is a split path. But I'm not gonna do that, because this is a 100% run as usual. So, 1-6, here we go! And 
Come on, baby. There we go. <laughs> so, there's a Koopa. He is now wingless. In case you don't realize, any winged enemy that you find, you have to jump on twice for it to have a normal effect on the enemy. One knocks off their wings, the other one gives them the normal effect. Like, Koopas, you'll knock into their shell and whatnot. And there's a... First star coin up there. There's a vine over here. I don't believe there's any star coins up here, but there is a bonus area, so I might as well go up and check it out. Uh, ooh, I have a chance at a propeller mushroom. Come on. Yeah, baby! Leap timing! Leap timing! For the win! And there's another star coin over there, which should be really easy to get. Normally, you'd have to bounce up on the Koopas to get up here, but I can just go like that because I ended up out here to begin with. And, uh, oh, I wonder where there's a secret. I'll never find this one. <laughs> See that little cutoff on the wall there? It indicates that there's a little secret there. And you just propel yourself up here, or you're going to have to deal with this very fast floor. And there we go. That's the last star coin of the level. No problem whatsoever 100 presenting this stage. And there's the halfway point right there. Uh, in case you don't realize, halfway points, if you touch them and then die... Oh, P-Switch. I forgot about you. If you touch a halfway point and then die, you'll respawn at that halfway point. It's pretty self-explanatory, really. What is in this block? I'm scared to try. I bet you it's a one-up. Yeah, it's a one-up. Woo! A little dangerous, but it's a one-up nonetheless. So let's try now over here to get over to the goal. Yeah, that was no problem whatsoever if you have a propeller. Another one-up, and I'm now at 27 lives. Yeah, I highly doubt that you're going to see the game over screen if you have any platforming experience whatsoever. Especially if you try to 100% this game, because you're going to come across a lot of lives and secrets that will give you lives and stuff like that. Anyway, oh my god, this is probably the best song in the entire game. The castle music. Listen. I love the organ! But anyway, no more stalling, let's get through this level here. Uh, no, no, wait, I don't want that. I want to keep my propeller mushroom. No ice flower for me. Um, if you ride this gear up to the top, you can find some stuff, but this isn't the gear that you want to ride up. There's another one later on that'll lead you to a star coin, but this one's just got normal coins. Though it does give you a pretty easy shot at that coin, just jumping at it from above. This gear is the one that you want to jump up on top of. This one's pretty tricky to get to up to without a propeller mushroom. Just ride it, and you'll be transported to another area. And... Wait, this isn't a star coin? I thought there was a star coin up here. Well, anyway, there's two one-ups. This isn't the area that I was thinking of. There's a one-up in that block. There's a bunch of coins. I just got a one-up from having uh, over 100 coins there. Oh, come on, man. You're giving me lives all over the place. I'm at 30. <laughs> so I guess that wasn't the one that leads you to a star coin. Uh, I must be thinking of a one one in a later level, but whatever, there's a secret up there anyway. So let's ignore that one, I know there's a coin up there. Um, these normal thwomps won't break blocks, but larger thwomps will, like that one over there off to the right side. He's kind of frightening over there, but he's essential for getting this star coin. Let's see if I can get this without getting hit, without him dropping back down, yeah! Let's just make him fall. Not worth getting those coins, really. It'll take a little too long. And I don't want to waste your time too much. I always spend, as I said, the earlier parts explaining a ton of stuff. So let's keep the stalling to a minimum. And oh, that was a stupid hit. Uh, in case you don't realize with dry bones, whenever you hit them, uh, unless their body goes into lava or something like that, they won't die. They just keep coming back. Um, oh wait, maybe this is the gear that I was thinking of that you have to ride. See, there's a pipe down there. Just ride on it and then walk off the edge once you get underneath that orange platform and you'll just be able to plop right onto the pipe. Go inside and there's going to be a little P-switch run here. Um, see those coins? They're going to change the blocks and vice versa, so you got to make use of that as well as a well-timed wall jump and at the best... <clears throat> best move you can possibly do while you have the chance. 
And that's really all there is to it. Let's see. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> Got a little fire flower there. And to the boss! As again, I'm gonna say it's Iggy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know offhand the Koopa kids. But I think this boss is actually easier than the first time you face him. Like, he has the same moves, but because these platforms are going to be moving, it makes it easier. You'll see why. And there's a Magic Koopa. Some say it's Kamek. I don't think it is, but he certainly has the move of Kamek from Yoshi Island. And... Transform! And he's defeated the exact same way as before. Now, this is what I mean about him being easy. But look at this. He's going to get trapped whenever he falls down into a hole like that. And, oh, that was just bad timing on my part. And then since he's almost always lower than you when he pops his head back out, you can just jump right onto his head like that because you're above him, and that's really all there is to it. So grab the key, and that'll unlock the next level. That's World 1 in a nutshell. Completely 100%ed. Airship? Oh no! Could this mean that there will be future airship levels with awesome orchestrated music for us to face? Well, not face, listen to. My best guess is maybe. So the next world is going to be a desert world, which I think I'm going to leave off this part just so I can start the next world on another part. Oh yep, got all the star coins. Yay! Yeah, just for organization, I'm going to leave it off here and start the desert world in the next part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next part. I think this one is Morton. You're Morton, right? Maybe? <laughs> Curse me and my bad knowledge of names. And my bad memory with names. So, uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you later.